step one of this video will be to show how to prepare the PVC tape light to, to use it to insert into uh, the PVC connector. As you can see, the tape on the left is not prepared yet. The tape on the right is what it should look like when we're complete and ready to go. We will now demonstrate how to properly cut the PVC tape light to get the right solution. Okay, we will now demonstrate how to properly cut the PVC tape. The cut point should be approximately one half inch from the end. Uh, that's the maximum amount you really need to cut off is one half inch. The proper way to do this, as you see being demonstrated, is to take a single end razor, a razor blade, rock back and forth, being sure to carefully cut through the PVC material but not the circuit board. Cutting it uh, first on the top side, then on the bottom side, again with the rocking motion is the best way to accomplish that. And then we're cutting the, the right edge and left edge the same way using that rocking motion. Okay, once that's completed, take a small pliers, in this case a, a wire stripper tool we're using, and simply try to peel off the PVC material. If you need to cut a little extra, as we're doing here, you'll see uh, that that will help. And basically the entire PVC material needs to be removed to about one half inch from the edge. And I can't stress enough, it's very important not to cut too deeply. That's why you see we're doing a couple extra extra passes here, just to make sure that we're not going to cut the circuit board itself. Once it's cut, the PVC does remove fairly cleanly and you'll see, uh, turn around a little bit here, We'll see we have a nice clean edge on both sides. We always do recommend that you do clean up the uh, the copper a bit. Uh, so we're going to take uh, a little bit of uh, take take the razor blade and just scrape on the copper to make sure you have a nice shiny finish uh, before you do the attachment. Same thing on the back side. That is all that needs to be done to prepare the tape for assembly. Okay, to attach the tape to the special PVC connector, you'll need to use the enclosed Allen wrench that comes with your kit. You're going to loosen the screws. You do not need to remove the screws, just, just loosen them uh, so that the tape can be inserted properly. You'll note that uh, once once we loosen it up, we'll look inside the uh, the connector assembly, and you'll see that there are copper there should be five copper connectors inside to match up with the five copper contacts on the tape light. Okay, why don't we look inside there a little bit? Okay, hold hold it up to the camera so you can see inside inside the front of the connector. Okay, and you can see in there that there's there are copper fingers that will be contacting the tape. Okay, once the assembly is loosened, we can then insert the tape light. Before inserting the tape light into the connector, be sure that the edge is not frayed and is uh, perfectly straight, and that you have enough copper material showing, as we'll, we'll we can take a look at here. Okay, uh, you'll notice that the tape does have a top and a bottom. The top is where the LEDs are visible. Also, on the connector itself, it, it says up, which is the top side. So the, the, the section of the connector that says up should be pointing in the same direction as the LED pieces themselves. As you'll see, it's fairly easy. Now we insert the tape light into the connector very slowly, and we make sure that the copper goes all the way in, and it should snap in very nicely. So the copper is now enclosing and should be on top of the pieces. We now uh, tighten up very tightly the Allen wrench, uh, the, Allen, the, the screws with the Allen wrench. Okay, now you see we did attach the, uh, the tape light. Uh, we need to make sure that it's screwed very, very tightly into the, uh, the assembly with the four Allen wrenches. I have it on a uh, color changing mode as you can see. So the tape light is working uh, beautifully. Uh, a few other things to point out. Uh, the cut points on the tape 
uh, especially if you're using the, uh, the connectors, should be in these sections, the sections that have just the copper, and you want to cut it as close as possible to the, the, uh, the line that is marked on the, uh, on the tape itself. Uh, it would not be appropriate to cut it at the splice points since uh, there is uh, a lot of solder and other little contact materials that could interfere with the connector, that will interfere actually. Um, you see we have the connector tightly bolted down. The other thing we'll point out is we're using the uh, uh, hardware power supply that uh, will be used for this application. Uh, we have the red and black wires. Uh, we just have it connected with uh, little jumpers into the positive and negative of the DMX decoder. Uh, the DMX decoder is what will be attached to our customer's DMX controller and uh, you'll see the, uh, the connector on that device has an input uh, which is uh, V minus and V plus. It's marked very clearly on the panel. We have then after that there's um, the output side which is what's connected to the tape and the first terminal is common. That common should be connected to the two white wires on the tape light. So the tape light has two white wires, a red, a green, and a, and a blue. The red should be connected to the uh, output, it says uh, channel 1, channel 2 should be the green, and channel 3 should be the blue. So um, the customer should have the RGB wire, actually four conductor, that will be, uh, actually be a five conductor that will be connected to the tape light. Uh, so we can accommodate the, the V1 and V2 wires of the tape. So the two whites will be connected to the common on the controller, and then the red, green, and blue will be connected respectively to the uh, channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. Um, the other thing to be concerned about is on the DMX device. We have it set on manual mode right now, but you will be going to your DMX system. So as you can see from this picture, uh, we have a uh, DMX in and a DMX out. The connectors that you'll be using with the cabling that will be uh, applied will be the female connector which will be used into the DMX in and the male connector, you can go ahead and insert that if you want, will be inserted in there with the wire. That will be coming from the controller um, and then we have the DMX out which will be the male connector. You can plug that in and that will be going to the the next following input of the uh, the next DMX uh, decoder. So the way the system works is the DMX controller is at the beginning of the chain and then these are daisy chained one to the next till you get to the final uh, DMX device. Each of these devices has a set of dip switches and these are set to the addresses of the, uh, the required DMX. The switches should all be in the up position. Uh, we have it in down because we're doing the demo mode but they should all be set in the up position and then the uh, specific DMX coding should be put in there depending on how you want to program the system. You can have independent channels or if all channels will be the same you leave them all in the up position that would be just DMX channel 1, 2, and 3 on your uh, DMX controller system. If you have any questions on any of this please call our office. My name is Ken and number here is 847-412-4880.